We know how important it is for our customers to be able to design HMI applications in the most efficient way. In Wonderware InTouch, we have introduced a new concept, the concept of application templates. These are base applications that allow you to get started much faster, as opposed to getting started from zero. We have a number of out-of-the-box application templates with the product, but customers can add their own. These application templates help our customers reduce the time, engineering effort, and cost associated with creating a new HMI application. Let's see how they work. When you create a new modern InTouch application, you get the option to start a new blank application or start from an application template. If you do that, you can access a browser that allows you to explore what application templates are available in the machine. In this case, we can see three examples that are out of the box. As mentioned, users can create their own, which can be organized in folders. You get thumbnails that give you a preview of what application template looks like. In this case, I'll select this one. From here on, the process of creating the application is the one that our customers are familiar with. Accept your default directory, give your application a name. Select a resolution. Provide a description. And start creating your application. When you open this newly created application, you will see that it is not blank. You will also see that there is a toolset for your application, which already has a number of graphics that are meant to go into the corresponding windows. So window one through window 20 correspond to windows one through 20 displayed in this content frame. On the left side, you see buttons that are also labeled window zero one, two, three, four, and so on, that are mapped and pre-wired to call those graphics in those windows. You also have a title bar with a logo and some basic components. This is already pre-wired and working. You have a dialog to log on. You have a title bar. You have your navigation, vertical bar. You have panels right here in a content frame. You will notice that we have breadcrumbs. So you can go back and forth as well as go home. As I mentioned before, you have already a window for your alarms. So you can look at summary alarm or history alarms. A window for your trends, placeholder windows for you to put any help that you want, as well as device communication diagnostics. Let's go back to the home window and let's modify this very quickly. So we'll take this window one and edit that. This will be the mixing part of the chocolate milk factory. So we're going to change the label here to mixing and quickly put some components. You can use some of our fancy looking graphics or use other type of components. In this case, I'm going to use some of the situation awareness library just to do it very quickly. Choose a vessel, and I'm also going to add some valves to a valve here. Some connection points here, and some connectors.
let's save this one. Put a name into mixing. And because things are pre-wired to follow that name, we are going to change the name right here. Save. And just very quickly, we're going to change also right here in the title bar the name of the application. We'll go to runtime. We can select any window. When we come to mixing, it already shows the graphic that I created. This gives you an idea of how quickly you can get a new HMI application started leveraging content that is either out of the box or that you have created. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation. Thank you very much.